Hello friends, we're back. We're in a new setup and we have some new content. So today we're going to be talking about Microsoft Teams meetings. Let's get into today's video. There's two ways that I wanna show you guys how to access a meeting. One is through a browser and one is through the Microsoft Teams app. First, let's start with the Microsoft Teams app. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your calendar and your Teams app, and you're going to find that meeting that's happening right now. And then you can see that there is a join button. You're gonna click on that button and it's gonna pull up this little window. It's gonna give you the option to add your camera, add your microphone, um, you know, audio and all of that stuff before the meeting. I would suggest doing this so that you're not in the meeting trying to figure out how to do all that. Um, the easy way to turn on your camera is just by pressing this toggle right here. You can change the settings right here to change your device. So if you click on that settings button, you've got the speaker option, the microphone option, and then the camera option right here. So the speaker is the output um, of how the sound is gonna go out. Then your microphone is the input of where your voice is coming through. And then you've got the camera, which is gonna be your um, physical video. So once you have those all selected and you're good to go, then you can X out of that and click join now. It's gonna enter into the meeting, but that is how you get into a meeting when using the Microsoft Teams app. Now let's switch over to show you how to access a Microsoft Teams meeting through the browser. All right, so when you're Let's say you're getting into this first meeting and you don't have the Microsoft Teams app on your phone or your computer and you just get a link via maybe a calendar invite or an email. When you pull up that link, it's going to take you to this page to join your Teams meeting. You're going to have a few options here. Continue on this browser or join on the Teams app. When you click join on the Teams app, if you already have it installed, it's gonna go straight to your app itself. If you don't have it installed, you can click on this don't have the app, download it now button. But for this sake, let's say that you didn't want to add Teams onto your computer and you were just using it you know, in a random time, I would click continue on this browser and this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna get this kind of quick um, use of Microsoft Teams. Um, it's going to ask you if it's okay to use your camera and, um, and your audio for the call. You can click allow. And then it's going to let you into that same exact window that you once saw before into like in, when I was showing you in the app itself. So why is this important? Well, the answer is because they look exactly the same. So whether you're inside the Microsoft Teams app itself or just in a random browser somewhere, it's going to look the same. Now, the one thing that I wanna show you that is different is this type your name button at the top. Because you're not logged into a Microsoft Teams account or a Microsoft account, it doesn't know what your name is. So you can put whatever name you'd like. And so I'll just put my name here. And then what you're gonna do is still, you know, do the same settings that we did previously and then click join now. And going into this meeting, it's going to look exactly the same as the one before. And you're gonna have a few options when going into that meeting. You've got chat, people, raise, react, view, notes, rooms, apps, more, and then your camera and microphone settings again. And then to the right of that, you've got your share. So um, let's say there's like 50,000 options, right? When you go into a, a meeting, but I think the important things to note um, when you're just starting off with using a Teams meeting is the chat option. When you click on that, it brings up a chat window, which you'll be able to chat with all of the people that are inside of the meeting. Then you've got people. This is gonna show you who's inside the meeting. You've also got an option here to be able to share an invite to somebody. So if somebody's not getting into the meeting, you wanna share the link again, you can do that right here. Then the last thing that I wanna show you guys here is you've got the app option. What this does do is add a certain app into the meeting. So if you wanted to um, utilize a separate app, whether that's like decisions or maybe whiteboard or whatnot to where you could um, do extra stuff inside your meeting, that's where you would add that. Now, 
Um, a newer feature that they've added is a notes section. This is going to connect with Microsoft Loop. If you don't know what Microsoft Loop is, you can look at the description below and I'll link the video um, of my first review on Microsoft Loop. Um, but this basically is an option where you can just create an agenda, meeting notes, um, tasks that, that will leak link with um, Microsoft Planner tasks um, and things like that. So that's very helpful. I like to use that in my meetings. So I hope this video helps you whether you're using the Microsoft Teams app for the first time or trying to get into a Microsoft Teams meeting for the first time. They do work almost exactly the same and you shouldn't have a problem with getting into those. If you have any questions, concerns, ideas on next video or anything like that, make sure to comment below. I'll be happy to help with any questions that I might have the answer to, um, as well as getting some more content to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.